What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy holidays first and foremost. I'm looking to make December the best month ever on YouTube and I cannot do that without you guys. So happy holidays and thank you for the support. So now with that out of the way, we're gonna show you guys today my two most expensive bowling balls that I have. The High Road Pearl, the original one, and the High Road Gold. The intention was not to bring you guys two gold balls, but it just so happened that those were my two most expensive balls. The High Road Gold is an overseas High Road, and then the IQ Tour Pearl is one of the most sought after bowling balls. Guys, so make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have super high lofty goals for 2023 that again, I cannot do that without you guys. There's gonna be a link in the description as always, where you guys can order anything bowling related. It's one of the best ways to help support the channel. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwake.com, Napolis 10 will get you 10% off your entire order. All right, so the High Road Gold features the inverted FE Square technology core, which is the same core that's in every single High Road. Then wrapped around that is the NRG Pearl reactive cover stock that comes out of box at a 1500 grit polish finish, not reactor gloss the old 1500 grit polish finish. Then when we turn it to the IQ Tour Pearl, the Goldie, the original one, it features the C3 Centripetal Core, and then wrapped around that is the R2S Pearl cover stock that also comes out of box with that 1500 grit polish finish. And the layout on both these is the same as 30 by four by 30. So guys, uh, when it comes to price, if you're gonna buy these undrilled, I've seen these go for upwards of $600. And I've seen these high road golds go for upwards of $300, $350. And again, there are some bowling balls that are worth way more than both of these. These are just the most expensive ones that I have. And I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of fun video here that we're doing today. We're going to be on lane one here at Samstown on a fresh typical house shot. The question that I have for you guys in today's video is, what is your most expensive bowling ball? And what is the most money that you would spend on a bowling ball? Let's get on the lanes. All right, first ball here is gonna be the High Road Gold. Because both these are gold, I'll let you guys know every time I switch, just to make sure. Oh, wow, that. <laughs> all right, let's move right off that shot because that did not hook at all. It's a super shiny ball with a super high RG on the fresh. There we go. Is that better? So, I mean, this is the only video I'm filming today because if not, I probably would have done this on the burn because both of these balls aren't going to look really good on the fresh. As I start three for three, that's funny. All right, so now we're going to be in the IQ Tour Pearl. Again, same spot, at least to start. Missed in, push. We'll take it. Yeah, I really should not have shot this on the fresh. That's funny. All right, let's make a good shot. Let it see the friction here. Wow, that, that hooked. All right, one more shot here with the IQ Tour Pearl. We're gonna move two and one left off that shot. I thought I threw it at least half decent and it hooked. All right, now in the high road gold, I'm gonna move into that same spot I was at with the IQ and see. See it? Oh! All right, let's move one left off that wrap 10. Let's see if we can't knock them all down. Let's go. All right, one more shot here with the high road, get back into the IQ Tour, Pearl. See it? There we go. All right, back in the Goldie IQ. Oh, that ball is just like, it's so good. That's the IQ Pearl. Yeah, you guys can say whatever you want about a ball being 600 bucks or whatever. This ball's good. Boom. God, I just realized how quiet it is in the bowling center. There's only like three lanes going right now. 
All right, last shot here before our first break. Oh, that's a bad shot. Get there. We'll take it. All right, so that first round went pretty well. Uh, a lot of what I expected would happen would happen, especially like with that high road. It's a little too clean for the fresh. This is a ball that I typically go to more in transition when I need something a little bit stronger than like a regular high road pearl because of that nano cover. It's a little too clean for the fresh, but all in all, they're kind of really showing why they're so expensive. And just because the ball is overseas, like the high road gold, doesn't automatically mean that it's going to be expensive forever, if that makes any sense. If a ball's garbage, it's not going to be expensive. It, the high road gold is just one of those balls where it's a high road, it's gold, it's nano pearl, it's overseas. That's why it's so expensive. Then the IQ Tour Pearl, there's really nothing much that we can say uh, other than that it's one of the GOAT balls. And I wish that we had a current, my opinion is that Storm Bowling should always have a Pearl IQ in the lineup. Whether they keep changing it like the Emerald, the IQ 30, whatever the case is, we always need a Pearl IQ in the lineup. They're just that good. So let's get back on the lanes and continue to just enjoy this kind of holiday kind of video. All right, back in the high road. And we're gonna move a little bit left and just to see if we can get it to hook from here. There we go. I noticed my balance is pretty good too since I started doing that. All right, so the big question I have now is what happens when I get this ball going right? Because it looks good when I keep it more up the lane. So here in this shot, we're gonna to try to get it right a little bit. Let us see the friction and see how this looks. Friction. See, that comes off really good. You know, because of the strength of the cover, I should probably compare this high road gold to the Fate. I think the Fate will still be a little stronger. Oh, hook a lot. All right, so IQ Pearl now, same spot. Again, this first one, I'm gonna get it going right a little bit to see. That one's gonna see it no matter what. So we're gonna go right back to that same spot with the IQ. I know with the IQ, at least it feels like I have room right and left. Oh, and then I missed left. Hey, there we go, we tested the theory. All right. One last shot here with the IQ, and we'll go back to the high road. Oh! All right, we got the front six here with the Goldie Balls back in the high road. Let's make a good shot here. Oh, that's a lot of lucky strikes here. Make a good one here. Wow, back-to-back -back can openers. Okay, front nine here, or front eight, looking for the front nine in the high road gold. Threw that terrible. All right, that was bad shot, bad three shots really. So the fact that I even got two is pretty good. 10th frame here. Good shot. Oh, yeah, this IQ is just, just good. See if we can repeat that same shot. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that 10 pin was brutal. So we're going to move like two and one left off that. Normally it would be three, but it's a super shiny ball. Oh, that's flush. Oh, guys, that 10 pin with the front uh, with seven or eight, whatever that was, or a front nine, that was brutal. I was already thinking, like, I had, like, the front six, front seven. I was like, oh, shooting 300 with the most expensive balls, that would have been, it still might be the thumbnail title, potential 300, whatever. I like these balls. I, and the, the one thing I didn't talk about yet, or I forgot to talk about, was that that high road gold, the reason you guys haven't seen it, 
in like almost a year now, is or like eight, nine months, is because it has my turbo thumb. And it's one of the balls that I didn't plug when I went over to, to go to the vice. So I'm throwing balls with two different thumbs. One is a vice thumb, one's a turbo thumb. It's kind of throwing me off. I prefer the feel of the vice thumb over the turbo one. So there's that kind of a differences going back and forth. So we're gonna get back on the lanes now for the last group of shots. I'm gonna to continue to chase both of these left, create a little bit of angle, and you know, just showcasing you why these balls are so expensive. The IQ is a 10 year old ball and it still rolls good, still sought after. And the high road gold, like I said, it's a high road, it's gold, it has a nano pro cover, it's gold, it's a high road. So many reasons why it's so good. Let's get back on the lanes. All right, so we're gonna get left here with both of these balls and see how they handle a little bit of angle change. That's gonna see it. And let me know in the comments which one of these two balls you think has looked better for me, the IQ or the high road. Oh! Yeah, that light zone, baby. All right, let's make another good one here. We'll go back to the high road. Oh, that's terrible. Wow, that was a terrible shot. Oh, that was pretty terrible. Now we're back in the IQ. And we're gonna go right to that same spot, but not throw it horrifically like we did that last shot. Anytime I do a video with an IQ, any kind of IQ pearl, God, I wish we had one in the current lineup. If you guys have never thrown any pearl IQ, you're missing out. One more here with the IQ, then we'll go back to the high road. That's a good one. Oh, I hooked a ton. Oh, that hooked a ton. So yeah, that last shot hooked a ton. I looked at the speed, it was very, very slow. So I just wanna stay aggressive with it. Don't, definitely don't wanna be babying the ball. I'm happy with there. Oh, come on. Yeah, I just, I just gotta move right with the high road. The IQ is allowing me to get as far left as I want. The high road is just really forcing me to shut down my angles and move right, so that's what we're gonna do here. There we go. That was four and two right. And then last shot here with the high road and we'll finish it off in the IQ. This is that same spot. Yeah, this ball just likes the shallower angles. All right back in the IQ. We're going to stay left at this one just because it allows us to. Oh, give me that. <laughs> All right, I am unapologetic about those theatrics. I was excited and I'll take it. I'm going to stay in the same spot, get it right, because the last one I missed left. All right, last shot of the video. We're gonna move three and one left, just to see, end it on a banger. Oh, oh. Well, all right, guys, there you go. There are my two most expensive bowling balls that I have, the original High Road Pearl and the High Road Gold. Like I said, there are some bowling balls that are worth more um, than the, what I have, but these are just the ones that I have, and then again, a bowling ball or anything really is only worth what someone is willing to pay for them. So just because you don't agree that the ball isn't worth $600 doesn't mean there, that there are people out there that, that wouldn't pay it because there's a lot of people who would pay $600 for an IQ Tour Pearl. So that being said, happy holidays. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I mean, I'm telling you guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The time of filming this video, I'm at 25,060 subscribers. 
My goal for next year is huge. Uh, I, will, I will unveil what my actual goal is uh, closer to the, the, the first of the year. But again, without you guys, this is nothing. Thank you guys. And if you're still watching, thank you again. Click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.